Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. I am Kurt Ludington, your resident host and bartender. As you can see, we are not in our cozy confines of our personal home down in the basement at the bar. Due to our good friends Brian and Becky, they were kind enough, kind enough to have us down here in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, and we are poolside in the back of their beautiful home. So we didn't want to miss a video, so today I wanted to take advantage of sharing with you Grandma Betty's personal recipe for the Long Island iced tea, pitcher size. Now, before we get started, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. Once you've done that, reach right over and smack that notification bell and that way you don't miss a single episode of the show. Also, please leave your comments. That would be awesome. Now, getting back to our drink of the day. Grandma Betty's Pitcher Long Island Iced Tea. Grandma Betty. Who's Grandma Betty? Well, my stepkids, Raquel and Trenton, their grandma is Betty. Last year we were able to spend some time at their, a couple doors down from their home. They have a beautiful lake house in New York on Cuca Lake. And we were able to spend several days, a few doors down, and they hosted us a couple times for dinner and whatnot. And she had the absolute best Long Island iced teas that I have ever had. Now, she was very giving to, to give us her personal recipe. So, Grandma Betty, thank you so much for sharing the recipe. And let's get started. We're going to mix up a pitcher of Long Island iced tea. As you can see, Long Island iced tea has a whole bunch of spirits. We've got gin, we've got tequila, we've got triple set, we've got vodka, and we have rum. Every spirit is going to have four ounces. So we'll start out with this rum. This is a four ounce measuring glass, so we're going to fill this glass with four ounces of rum. From there, we're going to move on over to our vodka. And again, we're going to pour four ounces. All right, once we've done that, I've got a giant jug here. Tanqueray gin. So we're going to pour four ounces of gin. After that, we're going to put in four ounces of tequila. Of course, all your spirits can be of your preferred choice. I'm using what we have here available to us. All right, and lastly, on our spirits, is we have four ounces of triple set. We have Cointreau here, so we'll be using Cointreau. Now, that's a lot, but that's all of our spirits. Moving forward, Grandma Betty suggests 10 ounces of a sweet and sour mix. So we picked this up the other day from La Paz. But again, as you can see, it's not quite open. Triple sec of your choice. We're going to pour in 10 ounces. We're going to continue that 10 ounce theme with 10 ounces of orange juice. I would suggest no pulp. 10 ounces of orange juice. To be able to see it. Ten ounces. 
10 ounces of orange juice. Now, lastly, Grandma Betty suggests Pepsi. You can use Pepsi or Coca-Cola, whatever you prefer. Grandma Betty prefers Pepsi, and we're going to do it her way today. Now, in her specific recipe, she says 12 to 16 ounces, preference to your taste. So, for now, we're going to put in 12 ounces because I learned a long time ago. You can always put in more. You can never take away. So, we're going to start out with 12 ounces of Pepsi Cola. Ain't no diet here. No diet Pepsi here. Regular Pepsi, 10 ounces. I'm, I'm sorry, 12 ounces. That's all the ingredients in Grandma Betty's pitcher recipe of Long Island iced tea. We're going to give it a quick stir. Incorporate all those ingredients. I've got a glass right here some ice ready to go. We're going to give it a pour. Now we don't have a lemon here. Normally I would take a little wedge of lemon, put a squeeze on top, and set it right on top, but we don't have that. So let's give this a taste. Okay. I believe I'm going to put a little bit more Pepsi Cola. It'd be, right. It'd, be right. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. I think it needs a little more Pepsi Cola, so Grandma Betty, I'm going to put the full 16 ounces. So I'm going to pour four more ounces of Pepsi Cola, and I think that'll hit the spot. All right, swirl this around and give it a shot. I don't have ice in the glass anymore, but that, that's okay. We're going to give it a shot here. We're going to give it a taste and see what that does. It's a lot better. Honestly, I'd go with about 14 ounces of Pepsi is what I would do. Just Thank you for watching today. We certainly appreciate it. You can find us on Facebook at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. You can find us on Instagram also at SLB Drinks. Most importantly of all, though, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you from sunny Scottsdale, Arizona.